launch a podcast, and my audience suggested the name Business Dow with George Cow. And I thought that was a funny name and a playful name. And uh, some others were concerned that it might be, you know, cultural appropriation to use that name, Business Dow with George Cow. So I thought I would dive back into some of the principles of Taoism and how that can be applied to what I call authentic business. So I'll share a few of those principles with you here. And I would love to, your comments if you have any other ideas on how we can apply, uh, how, how we can align with the Tao in how we run our business. So uh, principle number one, of course, is authenticity. Taoism is very much about uh, sensing into the flow of life within us and how we can uh, align with that flow in our in our actions. And so, of course, authentic business is about creating and selling things that have deep meaning to us rather than conventional business, which is primarily about profit, profit, profit. Um, and so authenticity is the first principle. The second principle is detachment. And that's also a very deeply Taoist principle. And the way I think about detachment is that, yes, in business, we do want profit. We do want revenue and uh, profit, and uh, we want we want to spend less time working, and all these all these different things that we might want. But we are, and we want to have a following. We want to have fans, true fans, etc. But we are detached from for every action that we take. We are detached whether that action creates the the, the results that we're thinking, and that allows us, therefore, to be authentic. In our actions, because if I was if I was making this video, uh, thinking, okay, I better get this many likes, or I better get this many shares, or this many comments, or whatever, right? Then I I I exit my authenticity and I go into performance and grasping and a, an attaching energy to what you do, because then it becomes subtly manipulation, right? So the opposite of manipulation is detachment and authenticity to say, ah, I am doing this action because this action itself is worthwhile. The, the, the core of business that is inauthentic is that it's always a means to an end, a means to an end, right? Oh, I am doing this marketing so that I can finally live my purpose and work with heart with my clients or whatever it may be. It's a, uh, yeah, it's it's it, it, so. Therefore, so much of our action is not within the authentic, detached, effortlessness. So that's the third principle I want to bring in. Effortlessness is not the same as sitting on the couch and doing nothing. Effortless action. What does that mean? Some people might say, "Well, that's when you are in flow. You are so good at doing something that you know, like the professional athlete." or musician, they are so good at it. They are in flow, so it feels like effortless action, and that's true. But before we become you know, that expert at an action, we can still have effortless action by sensing into the authenticity. Like I said, authenticity and detachment creates effortless action because we are playing with our actions. We are in love with the action itself rather than what must come after the action. And finally, I'll bring the principle of self-discipline. And you might say, what? Self-discipline? How does that align with going with the flow? I thought Taoist, go with the flow, you're supposed to just do whatever you want all day long, right? <laughs> now, that may be true to some extent. Uh, I would say that the, the only modern person that I am aware of who truly lived Taoist principles is Peace Pilgrim. I highly encourage you to go to Google and search Peace Pilgrim audiobook and listen to the audiobook. It changed my life years ago before that's how I, one of the factors for why I decided to reboot my business. But Peace Pilgrim was not a business person. She did not take any money at all. She lived moneyless, but she got a lot done. Right, so bringing trying to bring Taoist principles into business is already corrupting it 
right? It's not a pure Taoism anymore, but we can still learn from Taoism and bring some of that into business to live more in alignment with the Tao, even while we're doing business. So what is self-discipline? Well, interestingly, Lao Tzu, Lao Tzu is the author of Tao Te Jing, which is the foundational text of Taoism, okay? Lao Tzu said, and I'm going to go ahead and quote, quote him here, him or her, who knows who Lao Tzu really was, because nobody really not knows. So the writing is this, don't think you can attain total awareness and whole enlightenment without proper discipline and practice. This is egomania. Appropriate rituals channel your emotions and life energy toward the light. Without the discipline to practice them, you will tumble constantly backward into darkness. Interesting thought from from uh, the founder of Taoism. So there is something to be said about self-discipline applied into authentic business that allows us to really have a rhythm of work, joyful work, and deep rest, and bringing play into all of our work so that we can have a thriving, authentic business. I hope this is helpful as a start for how we can bring Taoist principles into business. I hope you find this helpful. My name is George Cow, Authentic Business Coach. And uh, like I said, I've got a podcast now, so kind of excited about it. And until until, uh, the next episode or video, I wish you well.